As I said in the first chemistry video, we're going to take a lot of liberties in glossing over some material simply because this is anatomy course and we don't have enough time to go into this stuff in a lot of great depth. This is definitely one of those examples when we're talking about atomic bonds. We are going to take a look at two specific atomic bonds. Now understand, if this was a college chemistry class, you would spend at least a week looking at ionic bonds and a week looking at covalent bonds, which by the way, are what we're gonna talk about in the space of less than 10 minutes. So let's get going. We begin by talking about ionic bonds. Ionic bonds are atoms that have either gained or lost an electron. When you lose or gain an electron, you change the overall charge of the atom. Remember that electrons are negative. So if an atom loses an electron, it becomes more positive. Does that mean the atom is now positive? No, 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 no. It just means it's less negative. So when an atom gives away an electron, it becomes more positive. When an atom gains an electron, it becomes more negative. There are terms for this. These are called ions. A cation is a positively charged ion, meaning it's lost an electron, while an anion is a negatively charged ion because it's gained an electron. Ionic bondings are simply opposites attract, where you have a slightly positive and a slightly negative, and they go katink, and they clink together, and now you have an ionic bond. Positive, negative, they come together and they bond. It's a very weak kind of bonding. Again, let's take a look at the official terms on this one. This is caused by the arrangement of a cation 2, an anion, a metal, and a non-metal ion bond via electrostatic attraction. This is static electricity. If you want an example of static electricity, throw some clothes in a dryer, don't use a dryer sheet, pull them out, and they stick to you. That's static electricity. Static electricity, as you might be aware of, is not a very strong bonding force. So this type of bonding is not a very strong type of bond. Because one is negative and the other is positive, they want to stand next to each other. A classic example of this is sodium chloride or table salt. Covalent bonding is the other type of bonding, and that is a much stronger type of arrangement. In covalent bonding, it's not a matter of one losing or gaining, it's a matter of sharing. So they atoms will come together by the sharing of electrons. They'll actually fly in each other's orbits. They will share the electron. This is a very strong bond. Ionic bonding involves, like I said, positive and negative. Covalent bonding is about sharing. Unlike the ionic bonding, covalent bonding, like I just said, is the sharing of electrons. That's going to conclude our lesson on bonding. Again, if you remember from our very first video, I recommend Mr. Kazi's video if you need to know this in more detail. Again, for anatomy and physiology, this really should be enough to get you through. We're going to continue on in our trek through the fundamentals of chemistry in our next video.